Here's an example of a problem that we can use uh, a combination of bar models and just some computation to help us. If I were to, this often happens with problems like this where we're taking a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. Uh, if I were to keep subdividing the bar model, I would end up with so many divisions that it would be hard to see what was going on. So let's see how we can uh, use uh, a combination of the bar model and the computation to solve this problem. So I begin, uh, begin by reading the problem. It says one-fourth of my trail mix recipe is raisins, and the rest is nuts. Three-fifths of the nuts are peanuts, and the rest are almonds. What fraction of my trail mix is almonds? Huh. All right. So I know I'm going to be looking at fourths, so let's go ahead and draw a bar model here. And I'll begin by showing that one-fourth of the trail mix recipe is raisins are nuts. Okay, so I've used that. Three-fifths of the nuts are peanuts. Well, I'm going to go ahead and draw a second bar just to kind of give me an idea of what's going on here. If I were to try to divide this up into fifths, try to figure out how many fifths were going to be in there, there'd be a lot of lines. Um, and all I really need is just an idea of what's going on. So, oops, not very even. Let's go ahead and do a little bit better job of that. So we're going to go fifths. So three-fifths of the nuts are peanuts. And the rest are almonds. So that's almonds there. What fraction of my trail mix is almonds? Well, uh, here I've got almonds uh, is two-fifths of this amount. This is three-fourths of the whole thing. So the almonds are going to be two-fifths of three-fourths. I know that a fraction of another fraction is that fraction times that fraction. I can cross cancel. Two goes into two and four. Two goes into four twice. Two goes into two once. And that gives me three tenths. So three tenths of the mix is almonds.